Hey Cancers, welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. I'm your girl, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, very special welcome to you. I do hope that you'll hit the subscribe button. Um, join me here more often. I would absolutely love to have you a part of this all Cancerian family, okay? I'm a Cancer and I cater to the Cancers right here. So definitely make sure that you turn on your notification bell so you're notified each and every time that I upload because it's always gonna be for the best sign in the zodiac cancer so um yeah you guys i'm back um oh yeah check out everything that you're gonna want to know in the in the description box below you guys um excuse me i am i don't know if you guys know i do offer phone facetime google duo zoom um readings like one-on-one -on -one tarot readings um if you so choose and i am currently running a special on your first 15 minute session with me which usually ends up being more than 15 minutes y'all but you know yeah so i just um if you are interested in booking that reading booking a one-on-one -on -one session with me like talking to me face to face um yeah check out the link the first link in the description box it'll be um how you can book or where you can go to book and then you can use the coupon code it'll be down below under um the link as well as um as well as you guys i have uh launch my one-on-one -on -one coaching and like mentorship programs for you guys that are interested in one-on-one -on -one, like if you need me i'm here for you boo okay um so definitely check out that below in the description box as well but yeah so you can just go to my website and um see anything and everything that you want or need to know about me that i want you to know <laughs> um but yeah bossladybtarot.com you guys is my main tarot channel boss lady b tarot so yeah my website is bossladybtarot.com um so yeah and i'll put my main tarot my main tarot channel in the eye or the card so you guys can join me over there as well if you're interested in checking out um other readings for your placements i do take care of all 12 zodiac signs over there i have um posted money and career readings for all the signs too um i'll be doing probably love messages next you guys so yeah we'll see um but yeah so let's get into it cancer Let's get into it. Cancer, what is going on? I feel like I haven't done a love reading in a minute. And yeah, some people was calling me out about it too. Um, but we're going to pull the energy surrounding Cancers. I love this deck, you guys. Um, I love this deck really because the artwork is a beautiful deck. It's the, um, the Modern Love Tarot deck. I, like, it's just a beautiful, a beautiful, really, really pretty deck and just easy to work with, easy to shuffle. Uh, I promise I'm going to get to the reading, you guys. But yeah, I love the guidebook that comes with it and how they break down um, messages for like each type of relationship. Because, you know, like when you're watching love readings, like I don't really know what your relationship status is. You know, it could go either way. But I feel like, um, yeah, saying, given the message that comes with it, I feel like, so at least I feel like maybe majority of people can, can take something from the reading so yeah you guys but anywho <laughs> i don't know cancer um i promise i said i was gonna get to the reading but just intuitively um and i've just had some sessions with cancers y'all it does feel like you know cancers we kind of going through it in relationships right now like um i said you know venus is in retrograde in cancer seventh house of relationships okay so it can definitely be an interesting time for cancers right now but y'all just hold out just hold out we got mercury retrograde gonna happen too <laughs> so yeah <laughs> um but let's get into it y'all i'm gonna pull the overall energy the overall energy surrounding cancers and love and relationship spirit in january 2022 what is oh i love how i saw that ace of wands though y'all it tried to come out but my yeah anywho <laughs> um but i saw it i peeked at it and and y'all it was like and that's almost how it feels like you know like you're on the brink 
uh, of seeing something new, like exciting, lush, and just like, oh my gosh, it's like you're being led to the promised land and you're almost there. And then you get that little glimpse. And, you know, you still got to go around the corner a little bit, but you like, that's what it feels like, you guys. Oh, wow. Like that felt really good. Okay. I said I was going to get to the reading spirit. Can you tell me? Okay. Look, see, okay. Look, and the five of cups came out. So let me tell you, cancer. Five of Cups came out as an energy. I feel like there definitely could be some type of loss, some type of regret, some type of ending that's happening. Um, okay, I told you, <laughs> Venus and retrograde cancer. It definitely feels like, you know, this could, there could be some breakups, some separations that are happening. I feel like cancer, what cancer is really focused on because we have this under, oh yeah. Okay, double confirmation. Boy, triple confirmation. Okay, look, okay. <laughs> Spirit, um, Cancer is focused on, focus on, um, I love this Queen of Pentacles card, y'all. It's so beautiful. Like, look at that. And that's Cancer. Cancer is focused on, um, making something beautiful for yourself. Growing something, whether that means a business for some of you, I feel like a business because, yeah, Cancer, you're showing up as a nine of pentacles, very independent, okay, making your coin, focus on your coin. The queen of pentacles is focused on her coin, okay, and then you got this queen of swords energy that came out on the bottom as well. It's like, look, it was cut off season, like, you, you were the murderer, Cancer. I feel like you asked it, but, but yeah, Cancer, you're still in your like emotional self. Like, yeah, you could still be mourning the connection. I mean, but you did what you had to do. You did what had to be done. Okay. <laughs> I'm not mad at you, Cancer. Yeah. It was cut off season for somebody or it's been to be or needs to be. Okay. Look, I'm just saying, and even if even if you don't have anybody to cut off, I feel like what you're cutting off or what you're dead in is control issues here in, in your love life and letting things happen. Look, or just really, really cutting off. I feel like, Cancer, you may just like try to stop thinking about love altogether. Like, that's how it feels with that Queen of Pentacles energy. It's like, you know what? Over it. <laughs> Over it. I feel it, though. Okay, but let's see. I'm gonna clarify the queen, the um, the five of cups here. Oh, I'm gonna get a good shuffle. Look, okay, and and that's not to say y'all that this can't um, whatever this was. Sorry, that's not to say that whatever this was that ended can't start again in a new way. I want to I want to throw that. I felt compelled to throw that out there. But let's see. Clarify the five of cups for cancer here. Why is the Five of Cups for Cancer here, Spirit? Clarify the Five of Cups. So we got True Love that came out. Yeah, look, I feel like, Cancer, um, you made the effort to cut something off or end something because it um it wasn't it was not appealing to what you truly desire. You want true love. You want a romance of a lifetime here. Um, and I feel like you are guided to take these steps to end something, or you're you're gonna feel you're gonna feel kind of nudged to end something here. Because this is a romance of a lifetime. But some of you, um, I feel like what really is what's coming out strongly too as well, this is like, this doesn't have to necessarily be the end of a connection, but it's definitely the end of some type of control. You know, cancer, we like to have control too. Um, so this, it feels like the end to some type of control issue that you may have had. Um, clarify true love for cancer. Uh-oh. Clarify true love for cancer. So best part came out. In life, we um in life where a movie being with each other would be the best part. You both bring out the better parts of each other. See, I feel like somebody may um somebody may have been in a situation that wasn't bringing out the best in you. So you decided to uh like cut it off for for that. And you're, if you if you are in that situation, I feel like you're needing to have faith, trust, and believe that um, 
that you can have love or, you know, trust in the divine, trust that the divine knows what this connection, you know, when this connection needs to end. Because I feel like some people may have, you know, some type of nudge here to make some moves, okay? But yeah, I'm going to pull some... some um cards here y'all i forgot the name of the day um but yeah <laughs> i will um when i remember it i will put it down in the description box below if you're interested um but also on my link tree i do have a link to all the decks that i use if you're ever interested as well um, to my Amazon storefront so you can see any tools, decks, things that I recommend. Um, all that good stuff on the link in my link tree below, y'all. But yeah, so <clears throat> look here. So yeah, we got a false twin flame that came out lesson, not of divine connection. So I feel like, look, somebody may have cut someone off because, yeah, you may have thought it was a, a twin flame, but I feel like someone may have been like disloyal in the situation. This is just, this was just a lesson. This was just a lesson to get to this next person. This could have, and, and keep in mind, this could have happened already, Cancer. Like, you know, don't get caught up on the timing. Like, you could have cut something or someone off in the past to move towards this true love. Like, you know, you're experiencing this best part. You know, you could have thought that, um... Yeah, because look, manifesting this here. I feel like you, you know, you manifested this connection. This new connection, that someone is in or that you're about to move um you're about to unexpectedly move into cancer because i feel like yeah cancer here on your single thing um you know working towards your coin your money you, you know um like i feel like storing up for yourself you know but yeah <laughs> you're about to get some type of surprise here with yeah true love give me messages for cancer Give me messages for cancer. Uh-oh. See, yeah, look, lessons, self-development, self-growth. This was definitely, whatever this um thing was in the past, it was definitely a lesson. And the redirection is a blessing, okay? So if you are, if you, <clears throat> excuse me, are currently in this energy, cancer, like, don't try to force anything. And y'all, that came out in the message I did for in on Instagram today. Like, do not try to force anything. If you are, if someone is try trying to be freed of you or you um, feel an urge to be freed of someone or something else, like, go with that. You know, it feels like, you know, lessons have been learned, cycles have been completed. So it's time to graduate to the best part of things. Like, yeah, you know, it's like you've gone through the struggle. Now it's time to, um, you know, reap the, reap the rewards. This is the best part. Um, so we got affection that propped out. So yeah, Cancer, I feel like this new, this new thing, they're going to be like really, really devoted to you. You know, they may be really, really affectionate, like showing, um, like, you know, wanting to be like touchy feely. They want, they, this new thing wants co commitment. And Cancer, if you aren't in this new thing, you're manifesting this new thing because you want a commitment. You want, you want a forever thing. <clears throat> See, yeah, look, romance came out. Um, cancer, some of you are going to be getting to know someone new. Like, I see you dating. Like, okay, the Five of Cups energy came out. Like, it's time. It's time to be revived from the dead. Okay? It's like, yeah, you have a new sense of self-worth. Um, people could definitely be finding you attractive at this time, Cancer. So, <laughs> whatever you were mourning, it's like, yeah, let's speed it up. <laughs> um... Give me messages for cancer. Ooh. Yeah, look. Um, Coming forward came out. And it's under this manifesting. So some of you are manifesting true love to come forward. Um, someone could definitely be manifesting like a certain person to come forward and, and communicate. Um, 
but the, yeah and then gift came out as well and y'all it's like following it's fall it's falling up under this lessons um because it feels like you know with this lessons card y'all i don't know i feel like i ain't showed y'all the cards my bad um but this lessons card it has like a little chess game on it so somebody definitely could have been like playing games whoever this person was in the past like you know false twin flame came out they definitely could have been like making it seem like they was your soulmate yeah your connection your but no nah, you moving on to what it really is um or you're manifesting this cancer and that lesson was a gift that let that lesson was a gift it was a it was a blessing in disguise um but then also you know you've grown from this lesson and i feel like the gift is your true soulmate you know the true love that you're manifesting and some of you may really have some options here like i see definitely dating give me two more here for cancer what's going on with cancer in january Oop. Yeah, look, new perspective. Look at, see, okay, this new person or this new situation, I feel like the last person was definitely very may, maybe like cold. They weren't affectionate like this new person is. Like this new person is coming from a different perspective. It's definitely like a change of, it's a, a change of pace in this connection. Because yeah, self-worth self -work is back down here. It's like cancer, you know what you deserve now. So you aren't, you weren't, um, you ain't wasting time with what was. And you could even still be mourning it because it's like, you know, nostalgia or there. Some of you, I ain't judging. Some of you could definitely still kind of have or be in the energy of this past thing trying to move on to the true love um or man trying to move on to manifest in the love. so you know i feel like <laughs> there's different there's different points in the story for everyone but cancer at the end of the day wants um marriage like forever commitment um and they were you were dealing with someone who was ruled by their ego like they aren't awaken they aren't on the same like wavelength as you they aren't as spiritual as you so yeah you had to you had to release them for your happiness you had to release y'all um so excuse me if y'all see i just made it back home so i was supposed to get my nails done today um but my nail tech had to reschedule on me so y'all i'm like real depressed about it so please don't come for me i'm finna get my nails done i promise <laughs> um but yeah i had just got back home so yeah um but cancer you release something here for your happiness so for sure um you let go you let you let go and you trust that your angels are gonna bring you true love or you trust that you trust that um the guidance that you that you got you felt your intuition you trusted yourself and so now you're moving towards happiness this this last person this past person could be missing you for sure um cancer but it's like yeah they feel left out in the cold they definitely feel left out in the cold and they, y'all, they really could try to pop back up around here in this, um, uh, with this Mercury retrograde that's about to happen. But Cancer, I definitely feel like you've already been guided elsewhere. It's like you've decided elsewhere. Yeah, you're mourning it. Um, but yeah, this person, this person could definitely be missing you. Okay. Um, yeah, this person missing you, Cancer. <laughs> They missing the bleep out of cancer. Um, clarify the, yeah, look, the I love you came out. Clarify the um, five of cups. Some of you too, because y'all, the, um, mm -hmm, okay. Some of you could have been dealing with somebody who was a runner, a track star, okay? Y'all could have definitely been like friends or like friendly um, or maybe like started off at fr as friends and maybe like we're trying to kindle something um, or y'all had some type of kind of relationship like that, but it wasn't, uh, yeah, interesting. I feel like maybe someone is dealing with a runner or you can't, so it could be the runner. But yeah, um, blessings towards new love, like new love is definitely on the menu, no matter how you slice it or dice it. Um, I feel like Cancer is about to be very lucky in love. Um, give me one more for this Five of Cups. Some of you too could, um, 
some of you too could definitely be there could be um some things going on in your friendships because like i said with this venus retrograde um happening it's affecting all relationships so it doesn't necessarily have to be someone that you're loving too some of you could be manifest or um mourning a friendship something could have been some, some secret could have came out to you um or someone could have been like holding back here and it's just it's not it's not for you anymore um yeah some of you could have definitely been dealing with the earth sign taurus virgo capricorn any other messages here for cancer yeah <laughs> and it was complicated this person it was complicated with this person um but i feel like somebody's playing games like that's what like i keep seeing games somebody was playing games and now i think cancer decided to move on they ain't trying to play the games anymore but now this this past person is kind of jealous that you done moved on <laughs> funny because look yeah you're moving on to your best part there was some type of conflict over here this definitely could have been with um an earth sign towards Virgo Cap Capricorn it doesn't have to be they can have it in their chart um but yeah cancer I feel like you left them you left them hot and dry hot and dry <laughs> um let's see yeah, getting to know each other, law of attraction. Cancer, I definitely feel if you are a single cancer and you're manifesting like true love, I definitely feel that you will be pleasantly surprised here very soon with someone coming in. Like I see you getting to um to know people, like dating people. So like putting yourself out there. And if that's something that now, okay, let me tell you this too. If you're manifesting love, if you want true love, you kind of got to put yourself out there too. It's kind of like, you know, you got to work with the universe because like faith without work is dead, y'all. So, and, and having faith, you, you know, you got to work with it too. Okay. Um, Yeah, missed chances. Somebody, somebody is, um, this past person feel like they missed out cancer. This past person, it's like, it's like you're in their, you're in their spirit. They feel like they missed out with cancer. They want, yeah, look, they feel, they feel that you've moved on. I feel like they feel like you've moved on, but I also feel like in this telepathy here, this is for this soulmate that's coming in. Like y'all are y'all are being divinely guided towards each other. Have faith. Have faith that true love can be yours. Okay, trust and believe that it can be yours. If you do want reconciliation, I do feel like that can be on the table for you here because I definitely see this this person coming back around. But yeah, if you don't and you're trying to move toward something new and true, like if you're done with the games, if it was games cancer, yeah, you finna get you finna be getting to know somebody new here. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave the reading right here, you guys. Um let me pull one more romance angel card. Look, y'all, how that happened. New love. New love. So yeah, um, but I'm gonna pull one more. One final message here for Cancer. One final message here for Cancer Spirit. See, okay, yeah, past life um, relationship here. You definitely could have been um, separated from this from this person that you're in a past life connection with. Um, but I feel like this true love, this new person that's coming in, you're going to feel like you've known each other for um like forever like y'all are gonna have that type of connection to each other y'all have known each other before because it's a a past tie um but yeah cancer i definitely feel like you might be single right now or like there could be some separation some some hiccups and some situations that's going on time apart could definitely be on the um horizon so yeah i'm just going say that <laughs> um but i'm gonna leave it here you guys i really do hope that the reading resonates with someone you find it helpful feel free to like share subscribe to the channel if you have not already um but yeah in the meantime in between time until next time i love you